Well, hello. So something that people, sometimes people have trouble telling minerals apart and two minerals that often look very similar are quartz and calcite. They are both often clear, although, or they can also come in lots of colors, depending on if they have impurities. But how would you tell the, the two of them apart? Well, there's a couple things. One is about the cleavage. Uh, we have cleavage in three directions here, non-90 degrees, so you basically have a trapezoidal-shaped crystal. This is the calcite. It's got a nice trapezoidal-shaped crystal. No matter which way you hold it, it still looks trapezoidal. No right angles. Now, this is quartz. If you look at it, it has a hexagonal-shaped crystal. If you see it from the end, it's hexagonal. And you can see it is, well, so this is cleavage in more than three directions or three dimensions. So that's one way. Another way is by hardness. Um, now these big, both, these are all labeled. This is labeled with a three. It's got a hardness of three. This has got a hardness of seven, uh, which means that you can scratch the calcite quite easily with the quartz, but you cannot scratch the quartz with the calcite. The calcite is just too soft to make a mark on the quartz. In fact, the calcite is so soft, not so soft that I can scratch it with my fingernail, but I can scratch it with a penny. It's that soft. So, yeah, calcite, very soft compared to the much harder quartz. Quartz is one of the hardest minerals there are. So those are other ways. Here's yet another way. So we've talked about the crystal shape. We've talked about the hardness. There's one more method, and that is with, can you see that? Hydrochloric acid solution. Um, by the way, um, this will work with any acid. This will work with vinegar. I'm just using the hydrochloric acid because it works really well with hydrochloric acid. This is not toxic, although it can burn you. Um, you know, this is after all the same acid you have in your stomach. So we'll start out by putting a little on the quartz. And as you can see, nothing has happened. The quartz is simply just wet quartz now. Put a little more down here. Nothing happening there. But watch what happens when I bring the calcite in. So here goes the calcite. And as you can see, the calcite is starting to bubble like so much frying bacon. Just bubbling away. Um, I believe that the bubbles you are seeing is carbon dioxide. I'm not 100% certain on that, but I'm pretty darn sure it is carbon dioxide. So yeah, the calcite, as you can see, is bubbling. And the quartz, no reaction. Quartz is very resistant to both physical and chemical weathering, whereas calcite is not. So I hope this helps you understand how to tell the difference between calcite and quartz, just in case you ever found yourself in a situation where you desperately needed to tell which is which. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and have a nice day. Goodbye.